Hi again, and uh, welcome to part two of Operation Earth and Beyond Mission Subterranean Review Packet. We're going to scroll way on down here, past mechanical and chemical weathering, past contour maps, all the way to continental drift theory. So if I look at the continents, I see that hmm, it suspiciously looks like they used to be together, but then sort of drifted apart. So that is an interesting idea. What is the theory of continental drift? So again, you should read down through there and we're gonna find out that it's not just based on because we think it looks pretty cool, it's because there's some actual evidence. So what was that evidence? Let's start with the evidence for continental drift. So what was the giant land mass called? Well, we called all of these together Pangea. How do the coastlines and shapes support it? Well, because when you look, it kind of looks like they actually fit right together. Which continents, continents seem to fit together? Well, South America and Africa, North America, Europe, and Africa all seem to fit nicely together. Now, if we look very carefully, it's through the years, evidence was found both in South America and Africa that actually rock layers and minerals were found in similar places on opposite sides of the ocean. Hmm, well, it could be possible, but if you look at North America and Europe, there's also matching mo mountains and rock on opposite sides, as well as some glacier things that were occur both in Northern Europe and North uh, America. So that gave us this idea that the continents had once been together, but had slowly drifted apart. Let's go over some of the, the key ideas here. So more than 20 million, 200 million years ago, there was one giant land mass. That land mass was called Pangea. As it started to slowly move apart, and yes, the movement continues even today, about as quickly as your fingernails grow, the idea was continental drift because it looks like the continents drifted apart. When we look in the past to where it was be today, it kind of makes sense. And we'll go over all of that in a little bit. And mostly it was based on this idea of the continents looking like they used to be together along their coastlines. The idea was first proposed by Alfred Wegener, a German meteorologist who actually ended up um, dying in the Arctic and so never actually was able to find out whether his theory was right. But it was based on the idea of mountain ranges, fossils, rocks and minerals, and the shapes of the coastlines. That the fossils were the traces of distant life, drift is to slowly move apart, continents are large land masses, continental theory is that theory supported by uh, most, well, actually, most scientists, and Pangea was the name of that one supercontinent. Now, while they supported this idea, the problem with continental drift is, even if you've got a herd of elephants, how are you going to move a continent? So ultimately, we had to move to the idea of plate tectonics, which we will come with and do in just a few minutes. Thanks, good luck, and no cookies for this one.